what time is it? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Where is it at? Right there, right there. And hit the notification bells while you're at it. The little bell. And follow me on my Instagram. Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And let's get this Ruby Review started. I did some binge watching. The new season, final season of Orange is the New Black came out. And let me start off by saying I have gotten off the Orange is the New Black train. The last few seasons I watched in and out. I like kind of had it play in the background. I paid attention sometimes, but it didn't excite me the last few seasons. I was, I loved the first like three, four seasons, but the last ones I wasn't excited and I didn't even pay attention to it all that well. I didn't even watch them really. I started seeing Friday people on social media giving it, like giving it praises, saying, oh, this season Orange is the New Black. This season Orange is the New Black. So I watched it and I have to say, I agree with them. This season was maybe not the best season because season one is definitely up there as the one of the best seasons. But this season is definitely on the caliber of those first seasons with Orange is the New Black. It is great. They're ending it with a bang. Piper, Piper, of course, the main character, but she's out of jail. So you're kind of seeing her adjust to life outside of jail. She does well. She's always a great actress, but then she's also trying to keep this relationship in jail with her partner, her wife, Alex, see that kind of the tensions that could cause by someone being in jail in a relationship and someone out of the out of jail and both having to live their own lives because it's like totally separate lives. You can't intermingle those. Oh. Suzanne with the crazy eyes, she's back as crazy as ever. Cast red, red is back. You have you know all of them and the cast is great. The cast has always the cast has always been great. It's been the plot where I was iffy on on those other seasons where I lost interest. This season not only brings in the struggles of in jail, out of jail, the struggles of staying out of jail in the prison system, the struggles within the prison system, the bureaucratic tape, the, the problems you have with the inmates, with the, with the guards, with the war, all of it. It starts to talk about ICE, the immigration, the detention centers for the immigrants. It totally brings light to the ICE situation. And I gotta say, number one, bravo for Orange is the New Black for taking on that. I think it's a right fit. We're, this is a show talking about the prison system, you know, and we have a whole different kind of prison system that we're dealing with now and has come, you know, in the, in the media and in the public eye. And it's these ICE, the, you know, immigrant detention centers. We see some of the, the people that we recognize that were in prison from other seasons made their way into these detention centers. We see how the women there live in these detention centers. We see the correlation of how the women in these detention centers live compared to how women in prison live. The way they work these detention centers into the plot of this season is first by having some old characters who've already been released from jail, already been released from the prison that we recognize get get caught, get, get arrested or whatever by ICE and is living in these detention centers. The second way that we see, you know, these detention centers being worked into, into the plot this season is that a group of women from the prison were picked to run the kitchen at the detention centers, the ICE detention centers. And that, it was an eye opener. The women that worked the kitchen, that were prisoners themselves and are working this detention center is seeing the mistreatment, are seeing their rights being taken away. Like they're not even able to get phone calls. They're, you know, at one point they're given secret little letters and all for the women in prison to help them because they are able to get access to phone calls and things like that. But the women in, in these detention centers are not. And then we see some like really harsh stuff where how they go to the court, the women in ICE go to court, you know, how, you know, they're not being represented. And even a couple of scenes with the kids, with the kids that are being held in, in the detention centers. And those scenes are, are gut-wrenching. That was a big part of this season, but also the season Orange 
orange is the new black we're we're wrapping things up we're we're getting a lot of farewell like we're seeing a lot of farewells we're seeing a lot of storylines wrapped up a lot of um individual storylines wrapped up it was it was a winner for me it was and like i said i was not impressed with the last few seasons but this one they brought it back and ended it on the bang definite thumbs up for me if you've seen it let me know what you think comments give me some thumbs and until next time.